I feel like I'm the same person, but I definitely uh, have a little bit of a different approach to life. 168 days and 4,270 kilometers later, Jeremy Farkas is back in Calgary after journeying the Pacific Crest Trail, which starts at the U.S.-Mexico border and ends in B.C. He traveled through seven national parks, deserts and mountains, all in the name of charity. After election night, I, I knew I had a choice to make, whether I could uh, be bitter or I could be better. Jeremy Farkas's goal was to become the mayor of Calgary, and many knew him as an outspoken and at times controversial Calgary councillor. But little did he know he was about to leave it all behind for his new goal, to raise $125,000 for Big Brothers Big Sisters Calgary and to prove to himself that he could do something bigger than politics. On the trail, you can really be anybody you want to be and it it challenges you every day to, to be closer to the, the kind of person that you want to be. So on the trail he wasn't that controversial politician many Calgarians know, not even close. He even received a new nickname, Pathfinder, because of his devotion to paper maps. It's kind of weird answering to Jeremy again because that's not what people knew me as. I didn't know you. Sand and windstorm. He returned to Calgary soil early this week after completing a journey only about one in five who start out can finish. But there were moments he didn't know if he would. Catching COVID, getting frostbite. There's times that I really wanted to quit, but I'm so glad that I didn't. One particular day, it was maybe like minus 30 degrees Celsius. There's a massive snowstorm, uh, low on food. But encouragement from people and his pull to help an organization mentoring youth pulled him through. Ken Lima Coelho, president of Big Brothers and Big Sisters, says it's lifted the spirit of the staff who work there, and they're so grateful he chose them. It's incredible. I mean, there are 26,000 charities and nonprofits in this province. He could have chosen any one of them. On the journey, he went through 16 pairs of shoes, including these ones. <laughs> One of the sweeter moments, of course, finally reaching Canada, but also the free Diet Coke you receive at a lodge at the finish line. Uh, that, that was probably the most that I have ever gone out of my way for a Diet Coke. But. And now the big question for this cross-country hiker is what is next? He said he's focused on creating positive change, but for now that just means hitting the goal of $125,000. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.